So, I want to tell you about the controversy. Yeah, Ooh. behind every behind all of this. Um, and like, did you know? Did you know that there was any kind of no? Okay, I don't know anything. Okay, great. Well, the only thing is that, like, you know, it's a very dangerous thing for her to be doing, right? Um, and yeah, but you know, it's just like the fallout that happens in the film. But that's not yeah. really controversy. No. Okay. Cool. Um, so. This, everything in this film happens and happened in real life. And then afterwards, there has been a lot of debate on whether or not um, this swim is like certified as a unassisted, legit swim that happened. Um, there's been a lot of debate on whether or not Nyad had help during the swim. And the, because there wasn't enough evidence <laughs> for... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just think it's funny. Because, <laughs> like, this is such an epic adventure tale, and it's like, <laughs> she didn't even do it. It's <laughs> so mean. <laughs> is it? But, okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah, then get on your boat and follow her. Yeah. Like, yeah. what do you want? She can't go back and redo it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So she did it, and then, yeah, basically, the organizations, well, it, it, it I think it went into the Guinness World the Guinness Book of World Records, and then it got removed because no. they were like, we actually can't verify <gasps> whether this was fully legit or not, which is so heartbreaking. Wait, how do they normally verify it then? So usually I think they'd have like an administrator on the boat or they would be really, really, um, they'd be making reports throughout and making sure that there's just like, no one is, no one touches her. She doesn't touch the boat. She's, well, I think that was the main thing actually, that she doesn't touch the boat and she... Why are you laughing? Sorry, I'm just thinking about Finding Nemo where he's like, <laughs> I'm going to touch the bird. The bird. Yeah, touch the bird. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's mainly about whether or not she, she touched the boat, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo, or, um, or if anyone touched her and like could have potentially helped her. Because, um, when they looked at all the reports of everything that happened, they realized that when she was swimming, there was certain moments where she must have um, increased her speed so by so much that like people started to question, like, how did she do that? But what what the team have said and what Nyad has said since is that there were actually they were just really lucky in that there were currents and the winds were going that way and it pushed her along and that's how her speed like doubled at times. Wow. Mm. Um, but there's not enough evidence to prove that that is what happened. So that's where it's all become really unsure. Yeah. I just think that in this situation, like this has been her lifelong dream. If she had not fully completed it and she had cheated, then she will carry that with her for the rest of her yeah. life and always feel like so horrendous and like, yeah, she'll carry that with her forever and it'll be like, yeah, it would be so disappointing, more disappointing than if she just not tried it at all. Mm -hmm. um, and like, like surely that's just enough. Like people don't have to then be like, have to prove that she didn't do it. Like if she didn't, then like that's her problem. And like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly. But like, like, why would you, yeah, why would you take her thunder like that? Yeah. Just because like you weren't there. Mm. What is she doing it for? Is she doing it? in order to go into the Guinness Bo Book of World Records? No, no. because otherwise she'd have an exactly. administrator on the yeah. boat with her. Yeah, I think that's so, like a big shame about it is that she, I think that's where it's gone wrong is because they, she didn't have all of those people in place because she just like, was like, this is the thing I want to do. Right, she didn't have a lot of funding. People were like, there's no way we're funding you to do this. Yeah. Like, this is like insane. Yeah. And like, then there's a sprightly young one that's about to like give it a whirl, you know, and everyone's like, oh my God, because we can like put her with, you know, all of these brands and, you know, mm. she'll sell because whatever. But like, this wasn't the same case for Nyad. No. Damn. Yeah. It's such a shame. So what is the, the final line on that, Nan? It's, it's, there's no final line. Well, actually, no, the final line is that they have, there's now different there's a few different like associations or, or organizations that have their own opinions on this. But, and I think at the time that's also part of the problem is that they didn't have these rules in place at the time. Yeah. And that more and more rules have come into place to now kind of like 
unpick it all. So there's certain the the main uh, organizations say that they they can't um, certify it as an unassisted swim, but they will certify it as a as an assisted swim. And I think Nyad has now just been like, well, fine. Like, it, I yeah, know the that's truth. Yeah. But then, um, yeah, so it's just still like loads of really mixed mixed opinions. But there was an, a report that went through and they were like, we just can't actually certify this for what you want it to be, which is such a shame. Yeah. Do you know but, what that um, means, though? What? Nyad too. <laughs> <laughs> the fight for authentication. <laughs> so <Yeah>. true. <laughs> oh my God, that would kill her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, Jesus. yeah, Bonnie. Yes. Yeah. Bonnie. Um, but yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, hate that. really horrible. And Literally, like, find something else to do, guys. Sorry, yeah. but I hate that. And you know what you're going to hate even more? No. Is that when I was researching this whole thing, there is this, there's a website called Nyad Fact Check, which is run by a man who's basically trying to just pull her down. And it's like, she's a liar. She's this. And he's like, put so much time and energy into this website. And it's like, get a hobby. Yeah. Like, well, that what? is his hobby. It's so sad. It's so sad. Like even, that. okay, maybe if she did lie, then okay, but... Again, like, like she can she... live with that for the rest of her life. Yeah. Like what is it doing, you doing that? Yeah. That's what I think. I just think it's so pointless. Yeah. Discussions like that. Just think like you've got to move on with your life, babe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really And I sad. love that she's just gone, all right, you don't have to accept it. Fine. That literally proves her innocence, I think. Yeah. Because, like, otherwise you would be desperate to prove that everyone, you know, you prove that you're not lying. Yeah. But if you just know in your heart that you're not, then you're just like, all right, like, yeah. I know I did it and I'm happy. Yeah. Ugh. I do also sort of really like the thought of them going a bit rogue because they couldn't do it in the first three attempts. So she turns everybody into, like, this, um, how are we going to, like, fake it? That is quite an interesting story arc. So maybe they should have put that in the film. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah Chin true. should have sided with the others yeah. and told like a fictional retail for dramatic by effect. true events. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. what makes me think that she couldn't have lied because I just don't imagine that the whole team of people would have been like, oh yeah, we'll be in on the lie as well. Yeah, yeah that exactly. Make, yeah. yeah. And even in the film, we see that, that Diana Nyad is like such an over-exaggerator and like does kind of, like surely does tell little lies. Mm. And apparently that is how she is in real life. She just over-exaggerates everything. She loves to talk about herself. Mm -hmm. She's the center of attention. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love it though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, but I just don't, I just don't think that whole team of people would also get behind her lies, especially Bonnie, who... Yeah. Who's, who, who already, like calls like, her hates, out? Yeah, like, yeah. like love hates her. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, yeah, it's so true. Mm. So that was something that the film uh, that the filmmakers decided to not include. They were like, it's not a film about the whether she did it or she didn't. It's a film about how she got to that point and and did it. And yeah. like a woman who woke up at sixty and was like, I've still got something I need to do. Yeah, which I love.